In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best method to get infinite tycoon rebirths in Pet Simulator 99. So yeah, inside the most recent update inside of the Dino Lab area, we have received the ability now inside of the game to go ahead and actually rebirth. And yeah, in this video, I'm going to show you guys the fastest method to continuously rebirth over and over again. And yeah, I'm willing to bet there's something in this video that some of you guys probably have not seen yet. So make sure you guys watch the entire video so you guys can see everything. So yeah, let's get into it right now. So yeah, currently I have a completed tycoon. I'm only on my second rebirth, but the update also did just come out. So so yeah, I am recording this like pretty soon after the update came out. So yeah, we can go ahead and complete uh, Rebirth 2, I believe. But first, I think I missed a button lying somewhere around I need to go ahead and find. Alright, I went ahead and found it. It was legit just a coin drops button right here in this area at the start. But yeah, now that we went ahead and got that, we can now Rebirth again. So yeah, here we go on to Rebirth number 2. And I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through pretty much what I've done in order to Rebirth as fast as possible. So let's hop into the next Rebirth. So yeah, here we are once again. And yeah, obviously just starting out there isn't really much you're gonna need to do except for just putting your pets on here and auto farming and if you do not have the auto farm game pass just uh sit on the area with your pets and you should be fine but yeah pretty much just starting out there isn't really that much you need to do except for just completing the first area and to be honest all the other things around you don't really need to worry about until later you want to go and buy the dome and all this like the hallway you basically just want to buy all the building material pieces anything with like the outside area you don't really want to buy at least until you're towards the end when you have a lot more cash if you want to actually go through this is as fast as possible just purchase everything inside and yeah once you get there you'll unlock the second area where you can slowly start buying at these wall pieces and yeah, your main objective is pretty much to just complete every single different room that has breakables as fast as possible. You want to unlock each room as quickly as possible because each room allows you to gain even more coins. So yeah, you guys should see in a second once I finish purchasing all of these buildings with these buttons. We also don't even need to purchase the flowers at all, at least until later like I mentioned. And yeah, once you go and get the roof along with the other items, you can now purchase the breakables. Alright, and there we go. We can now purchase the second set of breakables and also something to keep in mind, you are gonna have to purchase the egg button from every single area as well before you unlock start unlocking the next area because it will not unlock the buttons so yeah, you want to unlock the breakables and the egg for every single mini area and once you start getting more and more rebirths and playing it more you'll be able to do it faster and faster and yeah also with every rebirth you receive an extra 20 percent coin so right now i'm getting a 40 percent coin bonus and once i'm able to rebirth extremely fast it'll probably just get only get faster and faster i wonder if there is a cap though the ca rebirth cap might be 15 but to be fair since there is a leaderboard once you finish the tycoon there might not be i'm not exactly sure i guess we're gonna have to just figure that out once we get or even if there is a limit all right and for this third area it doesn't even ask us to purchase the roof i'm not sure exactly if the game if we need to purchase the roof before the next area but we'll find out in a second all right and there we go there is the next breakable area and yeah we do not need to buy the roof or the egg luck or anything else all we need to do is buy the breakables and the egg and we can now move on to the next area so yeah just go ahead and buy all of the walls in here and then finally the entrance like so and then we need the roof and then i think this might be the last one just the garage okay never mind we need a couple more all right and once we get all those walls we should should actually never mind we still need the last two buttons all right and there we go now that we bought that last button we can now buy the breakables for this area all right we can go ahead and get this next area there we go and also the egg and also for this fat this fifth area this patio area is also pretty easy because you only need to buy like two things and then now you can go ahead and buy the breakables there we go and then for this last egg we don't even need to purchase this fifth uh breakable area egg because we can just straight up buy the mansion right away so yeah once you get in here pretty much just do the same exact thing just buying all the walls and the pillars don't put any of your focus into like the trees or the stones or the paths at least until you're pretty much done because some of them when you're trying to get cash you can accidentally buy them and it does end up costing you a lot and waste a lot of time so yeah, i guess i'm just gonna slowly start purchasing all of these walls once again and uh yeah We'll hopefully be able to complete this area pretty soon all right and once we buy the around area and now let's purchase just the breakables and we can go ahead and buy this and then i suggest once you guys get this you guys should also get the 50 percent breakable damage before you guys move on all right there is the breakables now i believe we just need the egg upgrade or not the upgrade the button and then once you get the egg button you can now move on to the next area all right we can go ahead and buy the wall and then we don't even need to purchase the entrance or anything else once we buy
buy all the walls for this area, you can just straight up buy the breakable, so there we go. But after you buy this, you also want to buy the egg, and then there also is a upgrade right here that gives you plus 50% coin drops, so you want to get this, as well as the egg upgrade. So I'm going to get both of these real quick. Alright, and there we go. Now once we have that, we can now move on to this next area right here. And yeah, for this one, is the same as all the other ones, just buy this Dino Lab button, and then move on to all the walls and pillars, I believe. Alright, and also the unfortunate thing about the fourth area in the expansion is they actually want you to purchase the pillar and the root before you can buy the breakables so you need to buy both of those and then you can buy the breakables like so and yeah once you get in here all you need to buy is this egg right here you don't need to buy the egg luck if you're not trying to open up the egg there isn't really any point in doing so plus you'd be better off just continuously trying to purchase the last area instead of just spending them on this upgrade so yeah there is the egg and now we can actually start working on this final area all right and for this last area unfortunately we also do have to buy the entrance and the roof and then once you do that you can now unlock the breakables and there you go and now once you get this last area right here just like so it pretty much is a matter of time all you need to do now is hop to all the other buttons and buy every other button because now you're making enough cash where it's not going to really put any dent and yeah you'll be able to just easily purchase every single thing pretty much in the game besides like the very last item which you'll still be able to buy just in just a few seconds but yeah, as for these items right here these things literally cost nothing compared to how much i'm making so you can just walk over them and buy them instantly and yeah what you could also do is while you're waiting maybe in like the last or if you're waiting for the last expansion or the last breakable area to purchase you could use your time by just buying all the buns like so just like this just so when you unlock the final stuff, you don't really need to go ahead and just run around through all these areas and buying everything else. Alright, there we go. I now own, I think, every button except for this last one right here, which is the most expensive button every time. And yeah, as you can see, it costs $273 billion to buy that last one. Alright, and finally, we can purchase this last button, and there we go. So yeah, I believe that is the best strategy to, to go ahead and complete the Tycoon as fast as possible. And yeah, as you rebirth more and more, you should be able to do this process faster and faster because you're getting more and more coins from the buff and yeah as you can see with the rebirth 3 i go ahead and unlock the first secret lab at the room 3 and then i unlock the next one at rebirth number 8 so yeah i guess without further ado let's go ahead and rebirth for the third time in 3 2 1 and there we go and yeah also i did want to put this in the video but currently there actually is another method that is actually used for getting or re getting multiple rebirths just like how i showed you except it is extremely faster and yeah i'm about to show you guys in a second because I just completed the Tycoon once again. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rebirth and get my fourth rebirth. I'm going to show you guys basically what I did so I was able to get so many coins at once. So yeah, here we go into the next rebirth. And then yeah, right after the rebirth, as you can see, I'm already sitting at 200 million coins. That was because my pets were not on the auto farm though, however. So yeah, what you want to do to pretty much do this next method is you want to go ahead and join a public server and you want to find someone that has a 100% completed Tycoon. And yeah, this person at the bottom right here has a 100% completed tycoon so you want to go ahead and just teleport over to the tycoon and then head over to the best area and yeah you can basically either put your pets on auto farm or just stand in there and yeah now as you can see my pets are now just getting me a ton of coins and i can teleport back over here to my regular tycoon and i can just uh, go ahead and buy everything now and yeah this method is uh definitely a uh, pretty overpowered for sure and uh yeah i can basically go ahead and complete the entire tycoon by the time i already buy everything but yeah, I went ahead and put this at the end of the video because I'm not sure if this is meant to be a game intentional thing or if this is supposed to be like this. But yeah, to be honest, I doubt that they actually meant to do this with the game. I pr I'm pretty sure this is not what they meant to do, so it'll probably end up getting patched pretty soon. But that's why I went ahead and put it at the end of the video. So yeah, you guys can check if it is patched, and if it is not patched, I definitely suggest you use it. And if it is, you guys can follow the steps that I showed earlier in the video. But yeah, as you can see, I'm literally still farming billions and billions of coins while these upgrades pretty much just cost nothing and I just reset the tycoon but yeah as you can see I'm legit just able to walk on every single button and not have to worry about any prices thanks to this glitch and uh, yeah I definitely suggest you guys do it if you can because it will definitely speed up how fast you can rebirth by a ton so yeah here we are once again at uh, the very beginning and uh, yeah that pretty much is everything for the video let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any questions or anything for me to answer but yeah make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we're on the road to 100k subs I'd really appreciate if you guys subscribe and yeah, thank you boys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.